This is Robbie Jeanette with Keyboard Magazine, back with David Rosenthal. We're at the offstage rig, the uh, the brain of the onstage nerve center. Or is this the nerve center of the brain? I <laughs> You're the brain. As long as, the, <laughs> as long as they talk to each other, it's all it's all fine. So uh, why don't you give us a walkthrough of what you got going on here? This is sure. an amazing setup. Thank you. So um, I'm running two main stage systems here. They're both running in tandem. They all they both change together. I'm playing both of them uh, at the same time. This uh, MIDI signal comes out from the riser and gets split and gets sent to both um, MIDI systems at the same time. They're both always working and if one freezes or crashes or something, then I can switch to the other one by changing the outputs by using the uh, radials, the radial SWA. The top one here switches from main stage A to B, from this one to that one, and I can do it remotely from on the stage. And the bottom one here switches from whichever is the active main stage rig to uh, the outputs of the Kurtz one. Um, so basically I have two setups here. Um, each of these has an internal uh, flash drive, solid state, and they have external um, uh, solid state drives as well. These are the uh, Pegasus enclosures that I'm using. These are just housing the uh, solid state drives that I have in here. Each one has a library's drive and my samples drive. So that I, so I'm using two drives and an internal drive with each system. Your backups have backups. Mm -hmm. They do. Yes. Yeah. That's the way to do it. Well, because I have an A and a B, and I have two more of these elsewhere should these die in, in, over here. Awesome. And I have a third computer that's ready to go if one of these should die. So, I mean, now, that's you know. That's the way you do it. <laughs> well, yeah. I can't take a chance of saying, oh, my stuff doesn't work tonight. Absolutely. I mean, it doesn't happen, and the more backups you have, the less likely maybe you'll need them, I hope. Right. But, um, I'm now completely reliant on computers, and um, I, you know, I'm not going to miss a gig because something's wrong with my computer. Luckily, so. Max have been pretty stable. So. They're very stable. Yeah, it's really the system's really been working great. So up here, I have a, a, a guest uh, USB port in case I need to plug in a flat, flash drive and grab something off of one of these computers. I have a guest Thunderbolt cable waiting back here in case I need to plug in a, a, an external drive uh, or do backups or something like that. Right. Then moving down the rack here, as I was saying, this is the A system and the B system. This whole setup is two complete rigs in this uh, space here. So there's two um, two Pegasus with house all the drives, the main and the backup. And then I have two ultralights. Um, this is the, these, these are the uh, Mark III hybrids. Okay. And uh, this is the main and the backup. And then there's two separate systems here. This is one, and this is the other. So this one here is the main, and this is the MIDI interface, the XT that's handling all the MIDI and the routing. And then the receptor, uh, uh, at which I have running through the um, RME. RME to get multiple outputs using uh, light pipe. Great. So, that, so that I can get multiple outputs. On it. And then that setup there is replicated here. There's another receptor, another RME, and then the MIDI. Same exact thing. Same exact thing. And they both run in tandem, as I showed up there. Awesome. And then this is all the Ethernet routing. All four of the computers down here and the, uh, Ethernet and the um, uh, screen sharing computer are all um, networked together wow. so that I can do it. And I do not have internet here. I do not want it. Nobody checks their email here. Right. This setup is designed to do this and this alone. Cool. And that's and that's it. And as long as it stays that way, yeah. then it's fine. And no wireless. No wireless. Yeah. Everything's got to be wireless. Everything's got to be other kid. That's good. Wait, you know, you, you take out all the things that could possibly go wrong and the things that have like you know, the least uh, I don't want to say the, like wireless can go down. That, well, that's right, yeah, and I can't take a chance of that. Absolutely. So on a cable could go bad too, but it's, yeah. it's a lot easier to troubleshoot and it's easier to um, to swap it out for another cable. Right on, right on. Uh, so, uh, it's, it's almost like hard to envision what would be the next evolution of this rig because everything's so cutting edge and so up to date. Well, it's, yeah, but you know what? When I was using the other one, I couldn't envision this. Right. Because it didn't exist yet. And I was I was using my other system for the longest time, no pun intended, yes. uh, and uh, uh, for, um, you know, with the Studio 5s and everything, which is a great system, and it worked fantastic. I have a mixer and a whole bit, and the whole thing is now self-contained in here. But I needed this to get to the point where it is now. Main stage had come out, but it needed to evolve a little bit. Yep. There's some more features in it. It's stable now, and, and it's just, the whole thing is really, Fantastic. Yeah, really well. So just to talk for a second, you also did, uh, you revamped the whole keyboard rig for Bruce Springsteen. For both his keyboard players, for the Wrecking Ball Tour, yeah. Similar setup? Same idea. Uh, this is sort of next generation of that, because that was done three years ago. Oh, okay. Uh, so, but yeah, same, is an eternity. In the, well, it is. In this, I mean, Solid State didn't exist. Thunderbolt wasn't out right. yet. Uh, those are two big components that affected this. Yes. Uh, and uh, at that time, we were running Main Stage 2, which didn't have a lot of things that 
starting to sound check a little bit, awesome. so we'll speed it up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much that. This is the um, voltage regulator and of course a UPS, the single most important component. The battery backup. That's right, yeah. Just to keep the power just running Keeps smooth. going, yeah. Everything is on the UPS. I have one UPS for the riser, one for this rack, one for this rack. Do you want to go over this rack at all, or is that just a super well, we'll do that maybe in part, part 82, part 82. Or, or whatever we're up to now. All right, we'll let yeah. David go to sound check. Thank you so much. We'll be back.